so much for tuning in to today's edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Danielle, and today we're spending time talking with Mr. Patrick Cairn. We are at the Green Hills Community Center. It used to be the Green Hills School. What information do you have to share with us about the history of this awesome community? Okay, well, um, this building was constructed, uh, well, the community began construction in 1935 mm -hmm. uh, by the federal government. It was completed in 1938. Okay. First residents moved in on April 1st of that year, April okay. Fool's Day, <laughs> uh, but it turned out well. Um, and this building was really the nerve center of the community. Okay. Visually, it stands out mm -hmm. the way it's situated at the end of the village green. It, it draws your eye. Mm -hmm. And it was um, a K to 12 school. Okay. And it was also uh, they showed movies in the gym. Mm -hmm. They had theatrical productions in the gym, mm -hmm. both community and school. Mm -hmm. um, they had adult education classes here. Mm -hmm. And all the churches had their services in here mm -hmm. um, until they built their own buildings eventually. Okay. And there was one. There was even a small Christian Science congregation that still used the gym into the early 1960s. Okay. So. So, um, and some schools, I think, around the country have kind of looked at this concept again of having like a school that's also kind of a community center that might have some doctor's offices mm -hmm. and things. But this is where you would have come mm -hmm. for a lot of events. Mm -hmm. And you had all these people coming in with children, you know, who moved into the Green Hills with, and they had young children. Mm -hmm. uh, so K to 12, I mean, all the way, it was, it was pretty vital kind of building here. All right, so can you tell us about the other schools that were in Green Hills? Sure. Uh, let me just back up for just a minute about this building. Mm -hmm. uh, it was K-12, to mm -hmm. um, and then in 19, uh, early 1950s, mm -hmm. um, Green Hills, uh, the uh, people formed a corporation, like okay. a homeowner's corporation. Mm -hmm. They bought their town from the government, which was the option given to all three Greenbelt communities. Mm -hmm. And so, and what, what type of community is that? Greenbelt. Uh -huh. uh, it's like the, 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 th the three towns built by the uh, Roosevelt administration okay. in the 1930s mm -hmm. as part of the resettlement administration. Mm -hmm. And um, so after well, the war ended and they could buy their town, which they did, mm -hmm. you started to see this pattern of suburban development. So mm -hmm. there was additional land in Green Hills slated for housing. Mm -hmm. the new housing kind of came in or did come in. And Damon Road, for example, on the western side of the village, you had to be a veteran to buy one of those homes. Okay. So, and then um, you saw the first um, elementary school built, which is Damon Road okay. in 1955, which mm -hmm. is now a distinguished uh, Alzheimer's treatment center. Mm. Um, and then in about 1958, Beechwoods on the eastern side of Green Hills was built. So you had like an elementary school for both sides of the village. And then because there was a lot of suburban development south of Winton Lake, um, they built a school there because it was part of the old Green Hill School District and mm -hmm. that was Lakeside and which is now Winton Woods Primary South and that came online in 1960. Okay. So you see this interesting pattern where you had one room schools in the area. Yeah. Then you had this sort of very, um, a K to 12 building. Yeah. Which is also a community center which is different. Mm -hmm. And then you had, um, by 1955, you had this as a 7 to 12 building. Okay. And it lasted until 1963, the last graduating class, mm -hmm. 1963 from this building, mm -hmm. because a couple years earlier they started building Green Hills High School, which is nearby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this became a middle school, uh, okay. grades six to eight. I went to middle school here. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and then, um, then the Green Hills High School lasted from 1963. It opened in several stages mm -hmm. um, over, the, over the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. That lasted until 1991 mm -hmm. when he had the merger of Green Hills High School with Forest Park High School. Mm -hmm. Because another wrinkle in this is that the community of Forest Park was built in the mid, mid to late 1950s. Okay. And by the late 60s, they had their own standalone high school. Okay. And it was the Green Hills Forest Park School District. Okay. So you kind of see like some interesting history of education where you had rural yeah. schools, and then students having the option to go to like a local high school like Mount Healthy. Mm -hmm. Then you had the, the K-12 building. Okay. Then it becomes a junior high. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a middle school, and then a, a new high school is built, and then these uh, buildings get repurposed. So, like right. the uh, Damon Road became the Alzheimer Center. So, just things that have gone on with schools all over the country. Yeah. You can kind of see some of those patterns right here in Green Hills. So, I know that we're really close to Winton Woods High School. Right. Now, does that have some origins with the Green Hills School also? Right. That was um, in the mid 50s, Forest Park was developed. Mm -hmm. and, and students from that community came to Green Hills mm -hmm. High School, mm -hmm. or to, to this building here, mm -hmm. Green Hills High School. 
and this building was really starting to get maxed out in terms of how many people it had here. Okay. Uh, because you had the Green Hills population, people from south of the lake, and Forest Park. Okay. And so there was they wanted to talk about building a new Green Hills High School, which they, they eventually did. It came online in 1963. Uh -huh. But it got to a point where, uh, I believe in 1961, they had like uh, two shifts. They would mm -hmm. have the high school kids from 7 in the morning till noon, mm -hmm. and then uh, noon till 5 was the, the junior high. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and then eventually, so you had then the Green Hills High School open, mm -hmm. which was still had, carrying a lot of students from Forest Park. Okay. And then by the late 60s, Forest Park High School was built. Okay. So then you had Green Hills and Forest Park High Schools, all part of one district. Okay. Uh, and then when the merger occurred, the mm -hmm. former Green Hills High School became Wentworth Middle School. Ah. Forest Park High School became Wentworth High School. Okay, and so now, are there any schools left in Green Hills, or are they all now considered the Wentonwood School District schools, I guess? They're just considered Wentonwood School District, but okay. within the Green Hills area, mm -hmm. the Wentonwood's primary north okay. would be the only remaining um, public school here in Green Hills. Okay. Um, and then Our Lady of the Rosary, there's a parochial school that's here from... Uh, you know, the 1950s to about 2005, mid-2000s, it closed. Okay, okay. So. Interesting. Thanks for that tidbit. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank Glad you. Being a former student, and we're in your old stomping grounds, what's one of your fondest memories having have gone to school here? I really loved this building, this middle school. Mm -hmm. uh, it just has a lot of soul, it has okay. a lot of heart. I just thought it was a neat place even as a kid. I liked mm -hmm. Green Hills High School, but um, I kind of knew a little bit about this, having this 30s origin, and uh -huh. I was interested in history. Uh -huh. And one of the, uh, something that was really neat for me as a young history buff was to be taken American history in, in the upstairs room where one of the WPA murals is, and mm -hmm. you learn about the 30s mm -hmm. and Franklin Roosevelt, and then be in that room where that, that history actually was. Absolutely. That was a cool thing. Good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk with us. You're welcome. I'm glad to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks again for tuning in to today's edition of History in Your Own Backyard. And many thanks to Mr. Patrick Cairn for teaching us all about the former Green Hill School. We really appreciate it. Remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and stop, stop often. often. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.